come back on. Take me what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're meeting me for the first time my name is tricky um in this video i'm gonna be reacting to i told them as you can see this on my second device you know and i'm gonna be playing it real time i've never played any of the songs before i just want the the reactions and the um, review to be real and spontaneous you know so yeah sit back relax and enjoy So I just recently started doing album reviews and reaction, you know, why? I'm a musician, I'm also an upcoming artist, you know, and I'm a multi-instrumentalist and a music producer. So I feel like I could talk about music, alright? So Bonavoy just dropped an album and it's titled I Told Them. Basically, I think it's trying to prove a point, you know, like I told you guys that I'll become a superstar but no one believed, you know, and that's the case. I can relate to Bonner Boy in some kind of way because I'm an upcoming artist trying so hard to be recognized for the work I put in, you know, but most times no one will really care until you really win this award and become this big. So I feel like this album is more like a braggy kind of album because I told you guys I'll become one of the biggest artists, if not the biggest artist in Africa. He told Nigerians that he will be probably bigger than Whiskey though or Davido, but they didn't believe him, you know. But now he has sold out some of the biggest arenas in the world. He has won a Grammy and he has gotten nominated severally. So basically, now is the right time for, for him to do all the bragging. I told you guys, like, but you guys didn't believe you were listening to someone else, you know. So now I'm very excited about this one. And the first song I'm gonna be playing is I Told Them. Hey. I can relate to this, you know, telling people that you're good, but they can't really see it because the world has not seen it yet. Like Bonaboy said, you go explain Taya because no evidence. But now he has the evidence. He has won Grammy Awards. He has sold out a lot of big stadiums. And I told them I was a giant. I told them I was a genius. None of them believed me. But it's so cool though. I could relate to this. I'm excited about this. Told them, hey, don't you're not humble, please. <laughs> Did I just hear him say, I told them I'm humble? Yeah, anyway, he's humble, <laughs> I guess. So it's, it's more like a freestyle, though. Next song is normal. Okay, this is like a typical Afrobeat record, you know, I could see the bounce, you know, the drum is hitting hard, you know, and Bonaboy is doing his thing as usual on normal, alright? <laughs> Okay, normal normal is done. I could tell it's it's a typical Afrobeat records, but I mean I'm not feeling it that much, you know. So I'm gonna move to the next song on form. On form. <laughs> on form is a vibe. I could already tell it's like a solid vibe, you know. <laughs> Nice. You can tell that people will listen to this a lot because it has the nostalgic feeling, all right? Um, it's like, oh, oh la la, then you mumble. It's fun. I'm not here with the yay in the back. I'm not here with the yay in the back. I'm not here with the yay in the back. I'm not here with the yay in the back. 
It's a good song. I could tell it has a similar vibe to Lonely at the Top. It's a 6 to 5 ohm progression and it's very much similar. It's just that the chord changes, you know, instead of the 5, it goes to like a major. Okay, so it's a very interesting song. I'm gonna listen to this later on again. So, Sitting on Top of the World is something I've listened to already before the album dropped. You know, it was one of the singles that was released, you know, and it's with 21 Savage. So, I feel like on this album, he's just trying to let people know that he can do anything. Okay, Sitting on Top of the World is a track that it's not Afrobeats, it's not an Afrobeat record, but it sounds really interesting. Like Bonaboy said, music doesn't have to be boxed into a genre just express yourself and I feel like that's what sitting on top of the world is you know it's one of the tracks where it's sampling an old record you know and it sounds pretty much foreign you know and I love it I love it but I'm not gonna play it right now I'm gonna move to the next song tested approved and trusted I guess that's it just watch you like a cinema I'm not eating like a cinema Make sure you do nobody else Okay Preston, I could, could hear the old sounding keyboard And the stack of the phone is so good Baby, don't mind when you see Don't give me that 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 I didn't see this coming. I didn't see this coming. I didn't see this transition into like a dance hall or like I don't know what this genre is called. But yeah, it sounds interesting. I didn't see him jumping on it like this though. I didn't see the beat changing into this form. But it's cool. Just a jam. It's a jam. I feel like it's going to do so well in the Caribbean market, you know. It's a solid jam, you know. It's definitely gonna do well in Africa too, you know, but I feel like it suits the Caribbean market more, you know, and the vibe is more like you know the Caribbean vibe, you know, so it's a lovely track for real. Keith and me is a banger, alright, Dave did a great job, you know, this is the first time I'm hearing about him, but it, it sounded really good, I feel like it sounds a little bit UK-ish, you know, but I love it, it's a solid track. Moving on to City Boy. I listened to it already, so I'm not going to um, play it right now, you know, I think it's a very solid track, Bonner Boy is a goat, okay, he did it so well, you know, and the way he marketed the song with the video, with the guys, all of them using the Timbaland. Mama Seba, come back on. It's so good. You know, I love the way he did it. So it's really cool. It's a solid song. We all know that. And according to Bonaboy, Vigil is like a close friend, you know, like a close person to him. So, and he passed away. So um, I think the song is probably in, um, in the memory of Vigil or something. You know, so l let me hear how it sounds. So yeah, that's Vigil's friend talking, so I'm not gonna play it so much, you know, so I'm trying to be as quick as possible. Big 7 was one of the first singles they released, you know, um, before the album dropped, you know, and Big 7 is one of these tracks that you know that Bonaboy is just versatile, like he can do anything with music, you know, see the beats, the beat is so different, like it's not the usual beat people jump on, and the keyboard sound or the piano sound there, it sounds like an old piano, so it has this old feel to it, like something that was released like in the 1980s or 1970s something like that it feels really old and ah what can i say bonaboy can do anything yeah this one is viral on tiktok too wavy since morning you know it's a solid track you know and yeah we all know Bonaboy can. I'm speechless. Let's go to the next one. They play. They play is an extract. Let's see how it sounds. All right. Bonaboy is crazy. He said he dropped out of school because his teacher doesn't have money. And that's true, though. That's basically true. You know, what's the point? Mama, that's not my job. I was 
This track is City Boy, you know, City Boy is something I've heard on TikTok before, so I'm not going to spend so much time on City Boy, but yeah. It's a jam. Okay, it has been a jam on TikTok for some time now, so definitely it's a good song. Okay, I love it. I love I love City Boy. It's a jam for real. There's this vibe to it. It's a Bonner Boy thing. You know, it does this a lot. You know, and yeah, City Boy is a jam. The next song I'm gonna be listening to is Giza. All right, let's see how Giza sounds. Lovely flutes, lovely flutes. I'm a piano, so I couldn't speak so much about Sherry vibes, you know, and that's because I can't really relate to Sherry vibes music, you know. I've not really found one Sherry vibes song that I really like, you know, so that's why. I had to skip that one because I don't want to say so much about it. If I'm lying, you know, I love the intro already. It sounds really good. I love the acoustic guitars. You know, it sounds so clean and I love it. If I'm lying, to be honest, I feel like a different vocal should have been better on that song. You know, I know Bonaboy can do anything, but I feel like a different vocal, a softer vocal would have worked perfectly with that guitar. Probably if you featured someone else, maybe if you featured a girl or a guy with a softer voice, you know, that the track would have made much more sense to me. So that's just my opinion. It's still an amazing song. I love it. It sounds good. Um, Last song with J. Cole. I didn't even see this coming. All right. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I love the line he used when he says, is this, the, is this the thanks I get for making my people proud every chance I get? You know, it's just so good. I love, it's just so amazing. I love it. Hands down, Jekyll killed this. Jekyll killed it. You know, Jekyll killed this track. It's so good. I'll give this album a 7 over 10 because I feel like I prefer the other albums. Love Damini and um, um, African Giants. I prefer this other albums than this one. You know, but like I said, he has nothing to prove. He has done almost everything there is to do. You know, Big Seven, Sitting on Top of the World, um, the one with Jekyll, Thanks. The songs that Bonaboy released before he released the album. I feel like these are the songs that I also like. These are my favorite songs on the album. And I also think that that's his favorite song on the album because most artists have five solid songs, then the rest songs are album fillers. I'm not trying to say other songs are not amazing on this album. You know, these are just the ones that I really love. You know, the ones that were singles, okay? So yeah, it's just an opinionated statement, you know? So for me, I feel like the smash hits on this album is city boy all right i feel like a lot of people will do videos to that on tiktok you know because it has a lot of it's very groovy and it's very young it feels very um vibrant you know so i feel like city boy is that song on the album all right let me know your favorite song on the album on the comment section you could like you know subscribe to my channel you know and yeah see you in some other video bye